different eras and everywhere there are fabulous stories about magic that will simply astonish and amaze through it all are links between the world of muggles and the wonderful wizarding world of jk rowling magic is about more than the superstitions of the past and the fantasies of the present. Here's Alexander Locke, one of the curators of the British Library exhibition. I suppose a large part of magic is about belief and about just just looking for things or willing to believe it's there. And if it, if you believe it, then then it can be there. It can happen. And I once read a really interesting quote that if you don't believe in magic, you'll never find it. And that's so true. And that's the magic of magic. Joining us on our magical expedition will be experts from both the British Library and the New York Historical Society. We're also lucky to have the wisdom of narrators of the Harry Potter books, Stephen Fry and Jim Dale, as well as illustrators Jim Kay and Olivia Lominick Gill. Like the Hogwarts curriculum, our book is divided into specialist subjects. Potions and alchemy, herbology, charms, astronomy, divination, defense against the dark arts, and care of magical creatures. We'll also look at the past, the present, and the future of the wizarding world, with some very special objects donated by the book's UK and US publishers, Bloomsbury and Scholastic. And we are privileged to be able to explore illustrations, early drafts, and precious artifacts loaned by J.K. Rowling herself. To understand the impact the history of magic has had on the Harry Potter books, we first need to understand the history of the books themselves. So let's begin by following the journey of a boy called Harry, the boy who became the most famous wizard in the world, the boy who lived. We'll start with a little scrap of paper, the first Harry Potter reader report, written by Alice Newton, aged eight. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone had been rejected by eight publishers. When the manuscript landed at Bloomsbury, it was possibly its last chance. The Bloomsbury editorial staff presented the first three chapters of the story to their colleagues in the form of a scroll. The chief executive of Bloomsbury, Nigel Newton, took this scroll home but, instead of settling down and reviewing it himself, gave it to one of his most trusted readers. She wrote him a report that changed the face of publishing. Narrator of the UK Harry Potter books, Stephen Fry. His daughter, who was eight years old, said, The excitement in this book made me feel warm inside. I think it's possibly one of the best books an eight- to nine-year-old could read. And for that reason, he went on the hunch and said, Well, if my daughter likes it that much, I think we'll publish it. And many other publishing houses had turned it down. So I hope Alice, who presumably now is a little bit older than eight, and there's something weird happened with a spell, is very proud of herself. The next day, Nigel attended a board meeting at Bloomsbury where they decided to publish Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. For the next three months, Alice pestered her father, asking for the rest of the book. It's just possible that this small scrap of paper represents the moment where everything changed. The record-shattering series of books, the all-conquering film franchise, the multi-award-winning play, the enthralling studio tour, and the joy brought to millions, begins with Alice Newton's book review. J.K. Rowling has uncovered a fascinating selection of working documents. Most were made in the six years before the first Harry Potter book was published. Writings, drawings, jottings, doodles, brainstorms and early drafts reveal the astonishing detail and depth she went into when creating stories and characters, as well as her inventiveness in the creation of the magic in the wizarding world. It also reveals her understanding of real world.
Hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So, let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, Here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the fields of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information, such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log in to your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click Listen Now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Canceling button. In this step, Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is canceled, 
and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after canceling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free anytime and as many times as you want in your Audible account.